Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GetyReader.com. We have a retro review segment here, and we're looking at the Amazon Kindle DX. This is the latest e-reader that Amazon has been selling for about the last two or three years. It doesn't have x-ray or a whisper sync for voice, despite the fact that it does have uh, twin speakers and you could actually listen to audiobooks and music. Today we're just going to look at the PDF experience, the ebook experience, and check out what the speakers actually sound like in case you're enamored with the fact that you could actually listen to audiobooks on an e-reader. Now, it's not touch screen. Instead, everything is uh, negotiated with the little mini d-pad here and then with the settings menu back page forward backward home and the volume on the sides uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, look at a science book here now this e-reader is not as quick as a tablet so I was kind of making some of the mistakes of kind of clicking and hitting things a little too fast um, 9.7 inches as you can see some of the text here is kind of small uh, we could enhance that by clicking uh, the double a symbol here and you have a few options so we can increase it to say 200% and then as you can see we have like a little virtual uh, square button here so I can actually go to this column and click down on the D-pad. Now you can see we actually have the text displayed on the full page and you could actually continue to churn it by hitting the page buttons. So we're kind of scrolling within the document now but as you can see, most of the things are full screen and the resolution's pretty solid here. What we're going to do is just go back home really quick. And we're just going to open up an ebook. Okay, so here's the ebook page turn speeds. Not the quickest when you compare it to, say, the latest generation Amazon Kindle Paperwhite, but it's not terrible. I've seen a lot of e-readers, even by modern day standards, that take a lot longer. You can see that the page flickers every page turn because it's not using any of the, like the e-ink regal or carta or anything like that. So what options do we have? Well, you could click the trusty old double A settings again, and you could increase the size of the font and as you can see it's dynamic we can turn text to speech on so it'll actually read to you uh, the text on the page out of the twin speakers here on the bottom you can also change the orientation so this actually changes orientation uh, by just moving it. So if I were to move it into landscape mode it would automatically move it but I'm just initiating the software features If you click menu, there are some other options here. You can visit uh, view popular highlights, so highlights that other people have made. You can actually add your notes or highlights. So I'm going to just add a quick note. So I'm going to add a note here. And then with the built-in keyboard, I can actually type. I do indeed. So you could actually save the note. And then you can see there's a little one here. It says it. Uh, you could also do highlights, which is cool. And then clicking it to end. So I kind of dig this book experience. The, the screen's huge. Um, if you look at, say, comparing it to, say, like the Apple iPad, it's relatively like the same size. If we were to just open up iBooks really quick. 
you can see here that this is much easily readable than this. Now, you can actually buy books right on this device by being on the main screen and then shop in the Kindle store. There's actually a, an Audible section on here, so you can actually buy audiobooks uh, right from Amazon on here. Uh, you can get newspapers, Kindle singles, things like that. Let's just check out how a book description looks here on a very large screen e-reader. So you can borrow this with Prime. You can try a sample. If you hit a sample, it'll connect via wireless and download it right to your unit. And it said that it'll automatically appear on our home screen when it's uh, when it's finished. So it says here, items downloaded. I kind of dig this. By uh, modern standards, um, it's a solid e-reader. Now, it's important to note that you actually get free 3G when you get the Kindle DX. You actually don't have to pay for it, which means that you can actually take this e-reader and travel with it anywhere that you want, uh, whether you're on vacation or whether you're going overseas, and you don't have to rely on a Wi-Fi connection, but you're actually getting uh, free 3G. You can also surf the web uh, with the access as well. So you have like the basic web browser here. Now it's going to, you know, taking a little while, but you have some pre, uh, some links here that are automatically kept like on it. So we'll just check out something that I know is text light, which is Wikipedia. But you can actually browse the web with Amazon's 3G service. And then of course you have a lot of the options here. Enter URL, you can bookmark it. There's settings such as enable JavaScript and so on. Also, it does have a very basic music player. Uh, you don't have play or pause or anything like that, but if you actually hold down Alt in the space bar, And then you can press it again to turn it off. So you can listen to music while you're reading or actually listen to an audiobook its entirety. Obviously, hitting two buttons, it's, it's as basic as you can get, but you can purchase audiobooks through the Kindle store. You can purchase uh, newspapers, Kindle singles, ebooks, and all of that jazz. So we've given you a modern day take on the Amazon Kindle DX Graphite. This is the latest generation device that they're selling. Uh, you can still get them for about $1.99 on Amazon.com or if you live in other markets, you can pretty well buy them used, but they're officially discontinued right now. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of videos on this so you can get a sense of how it stacks up against uh, the iPad, how it stacks up against uh, other large screen e-readers, as well as other Kindles and Amazon family. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader. And for Goody Reader, my name is Michael. Everybody take care. YouTube.com slash goodyreader is the channel name if you're watching this on another website or channel. That is where we have over 920 videos, we do lots of contests, we take requests, uh, we have lots of news blasts, discussion, round table discussion, even though our table is a square or rectangle, and uh, lots of drive time videos with your yours truly, right her, and lots more stuff on that channel, and of course we do requests, so if you guys have anything you want us to film or have anything you want us to talk about, let us know and we will try our best to accommodate.